I'm standing on North Pearl Street right now in between Columbia and Pine in downtown Albany as utility workers from National Grid go down into these manholes working to fix the damaged wires after an underground fire happened this afternoon. A member of National Grid's underground team hands his partner a tool. They are two of dozens of workers who have spent hours repairing utility lines below North Pearl Street in downtown Albany after an underground fire caused several explosions and a four square block evacuation in the middle of the day. Some say they watched as manhole covers flew into the air. It was intense. I've never seen anything like it. It went like 10 feet in the air. And the smoke was just billowing in out and actually came down and into our building. Patrick Stella is a spokesperson for National Grid. He says his team arrived on scene soon after the first report. What we found was a fire underground in the vault section, and in those vaults there's, a, there's, there's many different wires. There's electric wires, gas wires, sewer wires. As crews continued to work into the night, most of the evacuees, many employees in the buildings, went home, all but Ken Robel. How has your night been? Uh, it's been a wreck. Ken is in charge of general maintenance for the Kenmore building on North Pearl. His job is to stay and wait until he can secure the building. Unfortunately, the federal government is in the building. So while Ken waited, National Grid kept working to secure the area, reopening the streets for pedestrian traffic at around 8.40 p.m. But what caused this electrical fire in the first place? The mayor was saying that there are old systems down there underground. Is that why this fire happened? It could be anything. You know, that's one of the things we need to look at. And age is something that we will look at along with other things. The spokesman from National Grid tells me that this team will be out here working to fix this problem throughout the night until this area of road can be reopened. They do plan to have this area opened up by morning. For now, I'm in downtown Albany. Christine O'Donnell, News 10 in the morning.